whether you're in the clinic or the supermarket, gloves can be very helpful at limiting the exposure of your hand skin to the outside world. Now, putting them on is not so much the issue. It's really when it comes to taking them off. Because as these gloves are almost serving like your outer layer of skin, keeping all the nasty stuff out, it is picking that stuff as you go along, as you're touching things, going about your day. So you do not want to get all that nastiness on your skin. That's the whole purpose of wearing these. So a very simple tip in terms of removing them. First step, you want to get one hand under the lower part of the other glove, make a fist, curl that glove, into itself. Part two, you put that down. Part two, you're going to bring your hand into the inside of the glove. You don't want to touch the outer part. Same idea. Make a fist, remove it over itself. The inside of your glove should be nice and clean. Toss them and go on your way. At this point in time, I shouldn't have to explain why you need to wear a face mask when you're out and about around other people or in a clinic setting like we are right now. However, there's some key tips in terms of limiting how irritating that face mask could be, whether it be on your face or around the ears. Now, there are two general types of masks, those that have straps that go around the ears, behind the ears, or those that tie like this. I think there are pros and cons to each. I think the ones that have the wrap around the ears certainly are a lot easier to take off if you want to escape into an empty room and sip some coffee. However, having that band around the ear and that friction can easily create an irritant dermatitis. Red, angry, painful, sometimes even itchy skin. So if you prefer that type of mask, that's fine. Just make sure you protect that skin around the ear, which is already pretty thin. Simple things like using paraffin wax, such as those seen in chapsticks or other wax-based products that are meant for the lips. You can put a little thin film behind before you put your mask on at the beginning of the day. Now, when it comes to the ties, certainly you don't have an issue in terms of irritation around the ears. However, you do need to tie and untie, and certainly those can rip pretty easily. Now, when it comes for the face, wearing one of these throughout the entire day can certainly cause some skin problems. First and foremost, you want to create the strongest barrier possible to limit the impact that friction and irritation from that mask has on your skin. This means washing your face with a gentle cleanser, followed by applying a facial moisturizer to damp skin. I will say though, doing that once often isn't enough. So what I personally do, and I recommend everyone else do, is throughout the day, try to take a quick moment for yourself, jump into a room or a secluded area, take off your mask, wash your face just with a little water, pat a little water on, you can pat it dry, you still want that skin moist, and then reapply your facial moisturizer, mask back on, and then you are good to go. Everyone needs to wear a mask. This is so utterly important to prevent the transmission of COVID-19. However, you should be able to do so and keep your skin healthy and, of course, not feeling too irritated. You stay classy, you see.